KX Y Force Taylor Graham working for you tonight. She spoke with an immigration expert in Taylor. He's both an immigrant and an advocate for immigrants. Yeah, that's right, Nadine. Hector Quiroga came to the United States from Colombia, then studied law at Gonzaga University, became a citizen in 2007, and now he's helping others to do the same. He says there are a few misconceptions surrounding this separation policy, so he sat down with me today to break them down. The cries of young children echoing through these facilities, separated from their parents by a zero tolerance policy. Now, those who cross the border illegally are being taken away from their kids or then sent to spend their days in rooms like this. President Trump says the policy that's separating families is a part of a law enacted by Democrats in Congress. Immigration lawyer Hector Quiroga says that's not the case. The zero tolerance, it's, I think, is overbroad. is being pushed to an interpretation that was not given before. I think it's unconstitutional. Quiroga has been serving immigrants so in Spokane Valley for nearly a decade. He says immigrant families coming to the U.S. were once granted asylum while their cases were looked over. Now. It's a different story. The remedies that they are attaching to is completely past the point of what we understand in America as a due process. I mean, I think they, they have no due process at this point. President Trump says the policy is out of his hands, that it's up to Democrats in Congress to fix things, a statement that's been denied by members of that party. But Quiroga believes the blame should be placed on both parties. I mean, in a way, uh, we have been trying to get immigration reform for, for many, many years. And I do think that there's a certain truth when it comes to it's been both sides that have not been able to pass a, an actual, a better system than this. Now, although the president says the U.S. has thousands of immigration judges, the Justice Department's Immigration Courts Division has 335 judges nationwide to hear these immigration cases and money to hire about 100 more, according to a Department of Justice so spokesperson. For now, reporting live from the Skydeck, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Taylor.